The uncleanliness of meat and vegetables in the campus has resulted in making 20 journalism students rush to Thammasat Hospital for food poisoning late Tuesday. Beside me is an automatic book checking out machine used when you want to borrow a book by using a student ID card to borrow the books from the computer system. Scan the book or code at the checking out here, then scan the student ID card to borrow the book. Due to this easy process, it raises the risk for the students who lost their student ID card, since a stranger can use it in an inappropriate way, such as using the card to borrow a book at the machine and not returning it back. By this, we cannot know who has access our card. Our smartphone is like another part of our body, since we need to use it 24-7. We use it for many reasons, from calling to chatting, and also paying online using QR code, which makes our life more quick and convenient. You don't even need to bring your purse with you. And in this year, the Bank of Thailand has given a green light for the first five bank. Quick response to the system. Marquis Pesuan has more to the story. A young male white rhino at a zoo just outside of Paris suffered a gruesome death in a place where he was taught to be safe. This time of the year in Thailand is a summer season where the temperature rises to almost 40 degrees Celsius. The most common health issues found during this time of the year is mostly heat stroke. Heat stroke has been a reason of most death in the recent years. Those who are at risk are the elderly people and people who work outdoor. And now I'm standing under the scorching sun of 39 degree temperature, which also has a high UV level. Extreme heat can affect anyone at any age, not only the elderly people. Making your body overheating due to prolonged physical exertion in high temperature is also at risk to get a heat stroke. If you happen to have heat stroke, make sure to see the doctors immediately and avoid hot weather. An excessive exercise until doctors guarantee you coming back to your usual activities. This is Natani Shah, Chenoparat from BJM News.